What's up? How are you guys this weekend? We're gonna do a little taste test on our new lacto-fermented pickled products because I think I am more excited than you guys about having these. So we got the sauerkraut, the dill pickles, and the jardiniere. We did some shorts last week explaining what each of these are. I think most people know what sauerkraut is. I'm just looking for the, uh, the point to break the plastic seal on the sauerkraut. Just cabbage, sea salt, and a few weeks at room temperature, and you have sauerkraut. I brought a plate here. I don't really know if I need the plate. I mean, it's sauerkraut. <laughs> definitely, definitely fermented. Very strong. Very strong. Yeah, this is, um, this is definitely like more potent than some other sauerkraut I've had, but not like that much more. And to be fair, you're not really supposed to eat it on its own. You're supposed to have it like on a hot dog or something. But um, if you wanted to have this as like a little side dish as a palate cleanser, you definitely could. I think the Germans actually cook it. They don't actually eat it raw. Now, chugging the sauerkraut juice is probably not for the uh, weak of heart, but it's definitely a good way to get some probiotics. And what's nice about this is it's not really that salty. You know, we put like a minimal amount of salt in this and like that lacto fermented bite might seem like salt at first, but it's really not because when you drink the sauerkraut juice, you can tell there's not much salt in it. It was very good, very good. This I usually like having as a side dish. So like if I have my lunch of rice, beans, and like a steak, I'll add the sauerkraut as just like a little side dish for some more fiber and some probiotics. Now dill pickles, I don't think I've ever really eaten these in my life. I mean, I've tried them, but like when I was a kid, like I would never eat them on my plate and never really sought them out. But here we have our dill pickle spears. Pretty pungent aroma. I mean, obviously you smell the dill. You get a little whiff of garlic. I mean, it smells like a classic dill pickle. It's like textbook recipe. These are crunchy. These are crunchy. Very, 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 very lacto fermented. Very lacto fermented. Very lacto fermented. If you guys like pickles, if you're like, if you're craving pickles, like, that craving you get, like the acidity and stuff, this will 100% quench that. These must have like basically peak probiotic content because the sharpness you get, it literally like makes you pucker and makes your, like there's so much saliva coming out of my taste buds. The flavor is good though. The flavor is excellent. It's really good. Like, what I like about these is that the garlic and dill flavor is so mild. It's like, you almost like don't taste it. You get a slight aroma. And then flavor wise, it's a hint of garlic, but that like, that really sour lacto ferment is what takes over. These are, these are, Pretty special. I like these a lot. 
Uh, we might be sold out on the website, but we are making more soon because we didn't make, uh, we made a lot more sauerkraut than we did pickles, but I definitely like the pickles uh, a little more than the sauerkraut on their own. I mean, who, who wouldn't? Uh, what I'm a little nervous about is, and I tried it already, but the jardiniera is uh, a little more lactose fermented than the other two here. So yeah, that's, that's pungent. That's pungent. So when you smell the other two, like, you know, it smells like sauerkraut. It smells like dill pickles. It doesn't smell out of the ordinary, but when you smell this one, you could tell something's up. Like it's really, really pungent. It's, it's like really fermented. It's good. Oh yeah. Super fermented, super fermented. I would say, um, the sauerkraut and the pickles are good, but this is a little over, it's a little over fermented. So I actually wanted to, um, I'm going to try this on the beef sandwich. If I was having this like as a side dish, it's a little strong to eat on its own, but I could, I could. Let's, um, I'm going to throw this on the sandwich and we'll try that real quick. So we did a little makeshift Chicago beef sandwich. I took uh, some fresh bread I made. We did the recipe last weekend with the beef and bone broth from Frankie Strange Meat. And I just chopped up some of that jardiniere and I put it on top. So I didn't really have to prep anything. Now on the sandwich, totally different story. Totally different story. It's a very good combination. It's very tasty. For for being such a healthy sandwich, you know, just only having, you know, organic bread, grass-fed beef, and cauliflower. Phenomenal amount of flavor. What would normally be like a plain beef sandwich, that's okay. Just putting that on there basically like a healthy, minimal inflammatory condiment. That's really, really good. I think I'm gonna start doing that moving forward. It's just more work that I usually wanna do, but it's really delicious with the bread and the meat. And that might be in silly trying to eat this on its own, but like you would never go into a supermarket, buy a jar of jardiniera and start eating it out of the jar. Like that's not what it's for, it's like a condiment. But I think next batch we do uh, with a little less fermentation, you might be able to eat it on its own, but again, like, you know, the pickles, you take a few bites out of between sandwiches, the sauerkraut you have as a side dish, you put it on hot dogs, jardiniere, you put it on the sandwich, absolutely delicious on a sandwich. Um, now on their own, you know, they have the lacto fermented bite. So if you're not a fan of fermented foods, if you don't really like them, then, I mean, I don't know anyone who doesn't like them, but. The, uh, the jardiniera on its own is not for the faint of heart, but you're definitely getting a lot of probiotics. Yeah, this is, this is so good. It's like, it's like, it's weird. Like you get addicted to them and you want to have more, even though it's like such a, a powerful lacto fermented flavor. But, uh, I'm really happy how these turned out. I think we will be offering them moving forward. Uh, maybe just some slight adjustments. Like maybe we'll try to do. Uh, more of like a sweet note on the dill pickles too. Uh, the jardiniera, I think it's good. Maybe we'll change up the vegetables a little bit, add some, uh, do a little less fermentation time. And the sauerkraut I think is is perfect as is, but um, you guys can try them and uh, let me know yourselves. So all three of these are available on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. Absolutely delicious. And you guys that were watching the free range meat vlogs know that I actually threw out a few batches of these. So 
if these, trust me, if these weren't good, I would not be selling them to you. I've already lost far more money than I'm going to make uh, experimenting and trying to make these. So I'm glad they turned out well. You know, us using like glass bottle mineral water, glass jars, super high quality organic ingredients. We don't really, I don't really make that much money on these. I mean, obviously if I had like four or five different ones and I was selling out every single month, then it'd be like a somewhat reasonable side venture. But for now, it's just, you know, this, the Jardinier is something I really wanted to have for myself and try on its own. And I'm really happy that, you know, if I go somewhere and I have a sandwich and I'm like, where am I going to get my fiber content, keep my gut motility reasonable, get my probiotics, this is perfect. It turns, you know, just these three foods, if you have them with a typical lunch, it turns the meal from something that might not have digested too well, but okay, now you added the probiotics, you added soluble fiber, you added, these are excellent foods for that. That's, that's really what they're for, keeping your gut in check uh, through those components of probiotics and fiber. So if you don't have water kefir, if you want something on the go, if you really enjoy the taste of these, I mean, excellent, excellent products. Uh, now we're just missing the, the bread component. So once I open up my own bakery and once I'm making hot dogs more consistently, we'll, um, we'll have everything. Yeah, I'm gonna do, uh, I think I'm gonna try to do a new batch of hot, I know we ran out of hot dogs on the meat website. Uh, we do have the beef collagen sausage, which, oh, you know what, I should've, I should've made one with that. I should've got, uh, I should've brought a sausage home and had some with the sauerkraut. I'm sure that is delicious too, you know? It doesn't necessarily have to be a hot dog, you know, the Germans have sauerkraut with sausage in general. So whether you guys are buying the uh, the lean pork sausage, the beef collagen sausage, whatever it is on Frankie's Strange Meat, you can have the sauerkraut with it, uh, even just having it with meat as a side dish thing. The pickles, self-explanatory. I think these are going to be one of our more popular products because lacto-fermented pickles aren't really available anywhere. You know, they don't have the probiotic benefits. And same with the Giardiniera, you know, they're not lacto-fermented. They're typically made with vinegar and sugar, which don't offer the probiotics. But again, I like how these turned out. I hope you guys enjoy them just as much knowing that they're made from the highest quality organic ingredients, glass bottle mineral water, fermented for the probiotics. But um, that's really it. Because honestly, I'd rather be broke on a beach somewhere than having to figure this stuff out. So you guys can go to frankiesherainfoods.com and... Uh, and try them out for yourself.